These days, we live our lives on the go. We've got places to be and many stops along the way. At U-Ride, our goal is to help you get where you're going faster and easier than anyone else. It's easy. Just open the app and input your destination. Whether you're traveling for work, school, entertainment, or recreation, we'll get you there on time, every time. Our global network of certified drivers ensures that no matter where you are, your ride is always just around the corner. Any place, any time. We've got you covered. You ride, never drive alone. destination will be on the left. You have arrived. All right, man. We're here. Sir? Hey, man. We've arrived. Sir? We're here.
here for Sarah? Sarah Hayes. Excuse me. Long day, huh? Yeah. Been up since five this morning. That is a long day. Well, if you want to close your eyes and grab some sleep, I promise not to be offended. <laughs> Thanks. I think it's getting to that point in the night where it's almost better to stay up than to sleep a few hours and wake up all groggy. Another early day tomorrow. Unfortunately. So, if I may, what keeps an early riser out so late on a work night? The everlasting bond of friendship. Sounds like there's a story there. Mm, nothing too dramatic, really. My friend picked me up, we went out together, and <laughs> she just got too drunk. So I ended up having to drive her home. Nice of you to look after your friend like that. It's not easy finding someone trustworthy in this day and age. You guys are friends from work, I assume? Yeah, how did you know? Just lunch. <laughs> there's a bar pretty close to here that hosts a lot of workplace events. Figured you came from there. Funny, yeah, that's exactly where we came from. I guess in a job like this, you must run into a lot of people with familiar stories, right? In a way. But everyone's unique, so the story's never quite the same.
Hey, hey, can you hear me? I'm sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 hey, it's me. Where did you go? I tried calling, but I kept losing service. I was looking for you. Where were you? I had to find an ATM. The credit card reader on the pump's broken and I only had enough for $20 worth. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm glad I found you. It's a pretty bad neighborhood. It's not good to run off like that. Hey, can we just... Of course. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to breach. Got a little shaken up, that's all. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry if I snapped at you. We'll turn to the bridge. You all right? Yeah. I'm more embarrassed than anything. <laughs> Nothing to be embarrassed about. Everyone gets spooked now and then. Still. Don't give it another thought. Anyone will be reacting the same. Oh, I just feel kind of stupid. There was nothing really to be afraid of. Don't be so hard on yourself. Look, that place was unfamiliar, and the unfamiliar frightens people. I don't know. I guess what bothers me is I don't want to be one of those people who's suspicious of everything or everyone outside their comfort zone. I hear you. Suspicion can be a nasty habit. Especially the way things are going these days. But still, you never know what's going to happen, and it's good to be prepared. I'm not sure if I see the difference. Well, you carry pepper spray, a taser, or anything like that? Yeah, actually, I got pepper spray in my bag. I don't imagine you ever believe you'll actually use it. Mm, not really, no. But you're prepared for a worst case scenario should you need it, right? Right. It's the sensible thing to do. You hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. Unfortunately, 
Most people convince themselves they're prepared, but they rarely are. What do you mean? Well, that pepper spray's your nuclear option. You know, your last line of defense, right? Right. What if I told you that when you need it at most, it probably won't work? Why wouldn't it work? Mayor. Yeah, sure. Yeah. See that? It's inert. These things are only usually good for a couple of years. So after that, the aerosol component loses pressure. Oh, great. So it's useless? Not necessarily. You might be able to trick someone into believing that it still works, but I wouldn't stake my life on it. See these numbers here on the side? Yeah. See what it says? It seems it expired two years ago. Exactly. You know, it's crucial that when you are uh, alive. Watch out! <laughs> I didn't see him. I was distracted. He came out of nowhere. You saw it. I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was an accident. I. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I mean, what was he doing at the side of the road? Well, maybe it's just her. No, 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 no. He has no pulse, Sarah. He's gone. No, 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 no. This is. This is really bad. We have to get out. Sarah, we have to get out of here now. What? No, 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 no. We have to call the police. Are you right? You're right. We'll do it from the car, but we just can't stay here. What are you talking about? We we can't leave him here. We have to. If we're here when the police show up, they're going to arrest us. No, no. It it was an accident. We. You think that matters? It's not like we were jaywalking here. A man is dead. If they catch us, we're looking at pretty serious jail time. Look, I, I can't just leave him lying here in no, the no, street no, no. like that. You, you have to, for your own sake. I mean, we're both liable here. When we were driving, I was distracted. I was talking to you and I didn't see him coming. That makes you an accessory. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to I know, distract you. I know. And I'm not blaming you, but that doesn't change the fact that we're in this together. Look, he's gone, Sarah. <laughs> and there's nothing we can do to change that. If we stay, we are only going to make it worse for ourselves. Please, trust me. Staying here would be the biggest mistake of your life.
Hey, you just got home? Hello? You there? I'm here. Hey, how was the rest of the night? Sarah? Can you come and pick me up? You all right? Please. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave here right now. Where are you? Downtown. Do you see any cross streets nearby? I don't know. I'm in a car wash somewhere around 5th Street. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll find you. Just um, hang tight. I'll be there in 30 minutes. No, no, no. I, I need you now. Okay. Can you tell me what's going on? I... I can't talk about it on the phone. Do you need me to call the police? No, no, don't. Um... Hey, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm fine. I just needed to hear your voice. The car wash is closing, and I, I didn't want to wait outside alone. I can be down there in no time. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I, it's late, and I just got a little scared. That's all. You sure? You sound pretty upset. Yeah, it's nothing. I promise. Okay. Well, um, look, if you need anything, even if you just get scared, give me a call, okay? I will. Thank you.
might want to take it easy. You may have a concussion. You should drink something. It may help. Do <laughs> yourself. I I swear I wasn't gonna say anything. I just needed some space. I I was overwhelmed. I, I was in shock. I didn't call the police or anything. You can check my phone if you want. Something the matter? Please. I just want to go home. You have my word, I won't say anything. It's okay. You don't have to lie to me. I, I'm not. I. I'm not. You can trust me. I won't tell anyone what happened. Is that what you think I want to hear? <laughs> Start the car. Yeah. Keep heading straight for another mile, and then take a right onto Yates Road. You should probably keep your eyes on the road. Wouldn't want another accident now, would we? Can you please tell me where we're going? Maybe if I knew I could drive more safely. That's it there. Fourth building on the right. Just do as you're told, and everything will be fine. Oh, uh, hey. You here for Noah? We sure are. Huh, uh, you must have ordered carpool by mistake. Oh, don't worry, you, you didn't. I'm just mentoring my friend Sarah here. Oh. Uh, okay, that's cool. Oof. 
It's like an oven in here. Yeah, sorry about that. The radiator is broken, so we have to have the heat on to stop the car from overheating. You mind if I crack open a window? Actually, I'd prefer it if you didn't. The wind noise makes it hard for Sarah and I to communicate. It's funny, I, I'd never heard of anyone doing a, a ride-sharing apprenticeship before. Is that like a new thing, or...? Not really. I've done quite a few now. But you know how it is. Late at night, a young woman on her own. It can be dangerous. You never know who's going to get into your car. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, what has you venturing out so late at night? Uh, just got switched to the night shift over at the Fresh Stop Market on Elm. But I'm not looking to turn that into a career or anything. I'm just gonna stay there until I get out of college. Oh. You hear that, Sarah? We've got a scholar in our midst. <laughs> well, between work and school, it sounds like you've got a pretty hectic schedule. You leave any time for socializing? Have a girlfriend, maybe. Uh, <laughs> um, me and my friends hang out when we can. I uh, haven't had too much time for girls lately, though, because of my new hours and all. You know, Sarah has this friend. Bit of a night out, but she might just be your type. Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't... Sarah, would you be so kind as to pass me your phone? No, really, I'm, I'm not looking now, for anything. Now, now, don't be so shy. It's not like you have to marry her or anything. Just take a quick look. You never know when Cupid's arrow might strike. Sarah, your phone? It's just there on the dashboard. Ah, your phone's locked. What's your passcode again? 7586. That's right. You see? This is our friend that I was telling you about. What was her name again? Kelly. That's right. Kelly. See how pretty she is? Yeah. She's very beautiful. Looks like we're nearly here. Sarah? Be a joke for me to that parking lot on the right there. Whoa. Whoa. That was it. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah! Sarah. Sarah. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, that's all right. I can turn around and bring him back. Uh, it's fine. I can just walk the rest of the way. She should bring you back. You don't want to be rude. Uh, it's fine, really. Nonsense. I insist. Um, by the time we turn around and, and head back, I'd be there already. You sure? I feel like we're inconveniencing you. Oh, seriously. It's not a big deal. I'm very sorry. I guess she's just not ready for this level of responsibility just yet. Uh, don't worry about it. I thought you did great. Can we at least offer you a bottle of water to make up for everything? It might make you feel better. Sure. All right. I'd love a water, actually. The center arm rest, Sarah. Awesome. Thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. on the wrong pipe, I think. Oh, <laughs> 
thank you. I know that must have been difficult for you. Is there anything you'd like to say before we go? Terribly sorry. I seem to have hit the uh, emergency rotary button as I was readjusting my rear view mirror. Not a problem, sir. We just need a verbal confirmation that everything's okay inside the vehicle. Everything's fine. Thank you. I'm noticing here that we seem to be having some trouble locating your GPS data. Hmm. That's odd. Uh, but I recently did some work on the vehicle myself. Do you think it's possible that I may have damaged a fuse or a sensor or something? It's quite possible that that's the case. If you'd like to continue to use this feature, you'll need to take the vehicle in to have it serviced at a certified maintenance center. All right. Well, that's a bit disconcerting, but I'll be sure to get it looked at the next time I take the vehicle in. Sorry for the inconvenience. Not a problem, sir. Have a good evening. You as well. This isn't what I had intended for us. But you forced my hand. Relax. Relax. Hurt the ones we love, don't we? No. No, please. You need this, Sarah. It's for your own good. Please. Please. Don't do this. I wish I could help, Sarah. I really do, but you've left me no alternative. You, you do have a choice. You don't have to do this. If I indulge you now, what will that teach you? Spare the rod. Spoil the child. You're right. You're right. It's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't try to escape again. I promise. Just leave her out of this. Please. 
I want to believe that. But my trust can't be given. It needs to be earned. You're right. You're right. It's my fault. But just give me one more chance, please. That's what I'm trying to do, Sarah. Thank you. You sure I can't get you anything to eat? You should really have something. Help keep your strength up. You'll have to excuse her. She just lost a very close friend. Oh, I'm so sorry. You take all the time you need, dear. Is there anything else I can get you in the meantime? Some hot tea, maybe? That would be lovely. And a cup of coffee for me too, please. You seem upset. You want to talk about it? You know, it's not healthy to keep these things bottled up inside, Sarah. Suit yourself. But you should know that I'm not the only one that's worried about you. Your friend, Matt, also seems very concerned. 
He's been texting you all night. Trying to see if you made it home okay. You should put his mind at ease. Let him know you're all right. Unless, of course, you want me to reply for you. If you're not feeling up to it, that is. Thank you. Home safely. It's not exactly poetry, but it'll do. Go ahead. We just received a report of a possible domestic abuse situation at the Sunrise Diner. Copy that. Unit 19 responding. Dispatch, this is Unit 19, over. Go ahead, 19. Requesting information on a black SUV. License plate number 7, X-ray John Boy 938. Stand by. Officer. Cup of coffee when you get a chance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry to bother you folks. Is that your vehicle out there in the parking lot? Why, yes, it is, officer. You realize you have a cracked headlight? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I've been meaning to get that fixed. Since you're parked, it's not really a tickable offense per se, but you really should get that taken care of before it becomes a problem down the road. Oh, okay. I'll be sure to get it sorted the first chance I get. Thank you, officer. My pleasure. Say, so that's a pretty serious bruise you got there. Mind if I ask what happened? Oh, that? It's nothing, really. You know, I've got a first aid kit in my car. I could help you clean it up a little if you like. Make sure it doesn't get infected. That's very kind of you, but it really won't be necessary. It looks a lot worse than it is. You sure? It's really no trouble. She's sure. Does he always answer like this for you? There's nothing to be afraid of. I just want to make sure you're all right. It personally. We're very private people. I'm sorry if I upset you. I meant no offense. But if you feel comfortable, maybe we could talk for a minute in private. Why, officer? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to steal my girl. Excuse me? No, he didn't mean it. I just want to ask her a couple of questions. Well, ask away. I'm sure she won't mind if I stay. But I do. Well, that could be a problem. You see, we don't do terribly well when we're apart from one another. 
Call it separation anxiety. Call it whatever you like, but I still need to speak to her directly. Now, if you don't mind. Doesn't seem like he's leaving me much choice. Please don't. It's OK, ma'am. You don't need to be afraid of no, him. No, you don't understand. I understand that we received a distress call from within his vehicle, and you're showing clear signs of physical abuse. Doesn't seem like he quite has the full picture, does it? Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to restrain yourself. Just leave us alone. I, I don't want your help. You don't have to be intimidated by him. Sounds like she'd like you to leave. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step outside of the booth now. He has a gun. What's your status? Over.
was beginning to wonder if you'd ever wake up. Dreaming of a better tomorrow, no doubt. Let me out of here. Get me out of here! Don't worry. Everything will all be over soon. Sorry I had to be like this, Sarah. I wish we could have spent more time together. But, unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. And even the best things must come to an end. Before we part ways, you really should know that even though it might seem otherwise, I really do hold you in the highest regard. You're a fighter, like me. But even the best fighters lose now and then. I've never been very good at saying goodbye. So instead, let me just say... See you on the other side.
Your parents are just leaving right now. Should be done in a few hours. Just the wind. Want me to check it out? Okay. We should take this down tonight, okay? He's gone, okay? He can't hurt you anymore. No, he's here. He's here. We have to call the police. gone. We need to get out of here. No, wait, wait, please, don't. No, you, you don't know what he's like. We can do this, all right? You just follow my lead.
The more you resist, the worse it gets. All your friends are gone, Sarah. There's nothing left for you out there. Stop trying to fight this and just let go. <laughs> I had much higher hopes for you, Sarah.
would like to thank everyone who came out here today. And especially those of you who were brave enough to share your stories with the rest of us. As victims of abuse, we, we have to live every day with the memories of our tormentors. They scar us deeply, corrupting our ability to interact with everyday people and places. But we cannot allow our feelings to overwhelm us. Because fear and its ability to distort our perception is their most powerful weapon. I know, I know the path towards recovery is not an easy one. But take heart knowing you don't have to do it alone. Your family, your friends, your this community we have right here, they are all willing to give us any support we need. So we have the power to take back our lives and move forward. Together.